I read through it and straight away I knew this is this is what I really wanted to do. It's such an interesting character and it's such an interesting play. Um, and the more time has gone on, the play has become sort of more interesting because as things have been developing politically in Britain and stuff as well, you kind of start to feel that this is becoming more of a reality. We're in a sort of totalitarian regime where the borders are closed. So therefore the manufacture of food and agriculture has become a massive part. So the, the state sort of owns all these, um, all these farms, so therefore they're closely regulated in terms of their productivity. So when anything goes wrong, um, they send the fox finder to sort of figure out what's going on because essentially what the powers that be are saying is that the foxes are what's causing all the problems because of the sly nature of the beast. William Bloor is a, uh, a fox finder and they're sort of take it, they, they're taken into a place called the Institute when they're very young. So he's um, five years old to start their training. So they're brought up kind of like monks in a way. So li living, you know, to basically become a fox finder by the age of 18. I don't think Ramsey would be a very good fox finder because he'd just end up getting bored and killing everyone just for a laugh. There's no WhatsApp group. Um, they're all just copying me, basically. <laughs> Obviously. No, um, yeah, no, it's really cool. I think it's, uh, I'm really glad that, they, that yeah, I mean, Kit's, Kit's sort of started off with theatre as well, and I don't think Maisie's really done much, so it's great that she's wanting to do it, and because I think it's a really good discipline to learn. Um, I think you learn a lot from doing plays. Um, you learn what, you know, it's a very, very different discipline to, to TV and film, and. I think as a young actor, it's really valuable for her to learn that stuff. And so, yeah, I think it's, she's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, but and, and Kip, you know, he's done, he's done it before. But I think it's such a fresh bit of writing, even though it's been written a while ago. It's, it's a very different, different play to I think what you are used to seeing in the West End. It's, it's really fast-paced, sort of thrilling, dystopian drama, you know, where, where it really does just grab you from the beginning and take you into a world that you're not used to, or maybe something that you feel that's quite close to your life. You know, it's, it's, it's got lovely elements of comedy, but also it's got a, a core of very human characters that I think you really get drawn into. Um, yeah, it's just, I think it's just, it's a great night out and it'll be, it'll be, uh, it'll be a lot for you to discuss after you watch it. <laughs> <laughs>